In this video, we'll draw an ID label and an interior elevation marker. An ID label goes underneath every drawing. It describes what the drawing is. Use a 3 quarter inch diameter circle and then draw a line through its center. The line should be the same length as the title that you'll letter above it. Letter the description on top and the scale on the bottom. The description or title should be lettered within one quarter inch tall guidelines. So mark off a quarter inch and draw some light guidelines. Note that the guidelines are positioned above the ID label line. Don't letter on the line. Now draw some guidelines an eighth of an inch tall. Again, leave some space between the upper guideline and the ID label line. Letter in the name of the drawing. and the scale. There is one drawing on this sheet and there's just one sheet so here we would letter one one drawing one on sheet one and these letters should be an eighth of an inch tall. So that's the ID label. An elevation marker is placed in the room that you want to do an elevation of and it should point to that wall. So if I want to do an elevation in this room of this wall, I'll draw a circle and this circle should be half an inch in diameter. and draw an arrow inside it. Note that the triangle is seated on the T-square and the arrow is centered in the circle. Whatever sheet that the elevation drawing will go on should be lettered here. So if this is going to go on sheet 2, letter a 2 there. If it's drawing 1 on sheet 2, letter a 1 there. So this is saying go to drawing 1 on sheet 2 to see an elevation drawing or an elevation view of this wall. If you wanted to do an elevation of this wall, then take that half inch circle and draw the arrow pointing to that wall. If this is going to be drawing 2 on sheet 2, letter 2, 2. The numbers always read up no matter which way the arrow is pointing. Also, the apex of the arrow should be located at the exact location you want to draw the elevation view at meaning you will draw everything that is in front of this arrow from here to here. You will draw everything that's in front of this arrow from here to here. 
if we wanted to draw an elevation view of this wall, we would place the circle and the arrow inside it at the exact location we want the elevation view to be drawn. Tell the reader where to find it. For example, drawing three on sheet two. And we would draw everything in front of the arrow from here to here.